All right. The Ditto sewing pattern projector, one of the newest innovations for 2023. It is $799. Should you buy it or should you skip it? That's what we're going to be getting into in this live show. Welcome to Sewing Report Live. I'm your host, Jen, over here on the new channel. And I am considering buying this product, but I have a few huge concerns. So we're going to be getting into the features of the Ditto Pattern Projector, which is now available at Joann's. Links are down below in the description box. And before we get started, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor of this episode. And the sponsor is the very own Sewing Report Etsy shop. So I would greatly appreciate it. And I love the support here. You can find fabric and sewing supplies. I pick out all of my favorites here and I only stock stuff I actually like. I use a lot of this stuff in my own videos. So there's quite a large selection. So check it out if you would like to help support the sewing report, the work I do here, independent media, and help. let's help keep creators independent here. So the Ditto Pattern Projector, I know a lot of people are talking about it. It's the big buzz. It just got released as of this taping yesterday. So we're going to go over some of the features of the product, what I like and what really concerns me about this product, and it should probably concern you as well. So let's take a look at this. All right, let me try to get my, my screen up here. Okay. So, all right, let's see how this looks. Okay, actually, this is this is actually a pretty good view. So the Ditto Pattern Projector is this thing that they are marketing as like the future of sewing. Now, there have already been a group of sewists in the community who figured out how to use pattern projectors to, um, pattern, they figured out how to use pattern projectors to beam down their PDF patterns so that they can trace and cut those patterns right onto the fabric with no paper required. Now, one of the things with PDF sewing patterns is you do have to cut and tape all of like the pieces. You got to print everything out. It's kind of a pain in the butt. And a lot of people, myself included, really don't like doing it. So I love that, you know, sewists were very creative, innovative people, and many have figured out how to Jerry rig your more traditional projectors, like the type you use for like movies and stuff. And they figured out how to use them for pattern projection. Um, now your regular pattern projector is much cheaper than this product. You can see this product costs $799. That is really, really expensive, especially when you compare it to your more standard sewing projector. So let's go over some of the features of the products you can see. So what this thing is, I think you need a certain ceiling height and it anchors itself on the floor and on the ceiling, right? So you can see this little beam here and that projects the pattern onto your work surface. Now it does like, it comes with a bunch of stuff. So it comes with like the projector, it comes with some pattern weights, it comes with this like little proprietary cutting mat. I believe that's also how you calibrate the, the pattern projector. And um, yeah, this thing is, it comes with a rotary cutter. I don't really need a, another rotary cutter. And uh, you can purchase this either at Joann's or at, I believe the Singer website uh, directly. So here's some of the rundown of the products. So it kind of is, this thing is sort of trying to appeal to people like us by saying, hey, you know, this is like, this. it's just like the new tech thing. Get get our app, get a PDF pat, you know, get our like projector friendly patterns. And, you know, you can save time by just projecting it directly under fabric. You don't need any paper. And it's also, I guess the, one of the big features that they're trying to sell us on is apparently you can customize some of the patterns, not all of them. So you can enter in your own measurements and the pattern will automatically adjust itself to your body. So if this, I gotta be honest, if this feature works really well, 
then I think that's huge. I think that's really a great thing. And I can see that being uh, very useful. Uh, but as I was digging more into this item, a lot about it was starting to like, I'm like, okay, that's not, I felt like some of it was not exactly um, as, as advertised. Um, so here's some of the things. So let's take a look at the, the Ditto website here. So it kind of says, you know, ditto versus traditional patterns, create faster and more sustainably with ditto. So again, this is comparing itself to the traditional uh, paper pattern. So you can see, you know, you can customize the style, project the pattern instantly. It's everything's digital, um, no more paper. But the thing with this ditto pattern projector is that it is a subscription based product. Now, guys, where have we seen this before? Where have we seen this before? Cricut Exhibit A and Craftsy Exhibit B. Now, I was going to do a whole show just about, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this still, but I was going to do a whole show about how I am just so over everything being a subscription. I just, it, not everything needs to be a subscription. I understand why companies do this. It's because it's a quote unquote reoccurring revenue model. So that's something, you know, everybody wants, keep the shareholders happy, keep raising that revenue quarter after quarter. And that's really why every company under the face of the sun is trying to figure out a way that you need to buy a subscription to use their product. Now, that just, that just bothers me. I, I'm so sick of everything being a subscription. I don't think you should have to pay for a subscription in order to use a product you already bought. That's why we were all pretty upset about uh, the Cricut design space situation that since they have walked back. The thing with this product that really concerns me is the fact that you, you can't use this product outside of the app and their subscription model. So that's the thing where I'm like, that's like my big hang up besides the price. That's my huge hang up with the Ditto sewing pattern projector. And in case you're wondering, no, this is not at all sponsored. I have no business relationship with any of the companies mentioned. This is just my honest opinion. So I do want to get into the patterns itself. I want to take a look at this because I think you'll find uh, this kind of interesting. So let's go back to the Ditto pattern website. So I was I was there a little earlier and I just wanted to see what kind of patterns they had. So to their credit, there are a lot of patterns. All right, yeah, they keep getting these really annoying pop-up screens, which is not great. So there are 715 patterns currently available on the Ditto website for the pattern library. So from what I understand, there are Ditto there are Ditto patterns like this Ditto pattern, the Ada skirt, and then there are it looks like they've partnered up with some other pattern companies, third-party pattern companies to make uh, the their patterns projector friendly. Now you can do this, you can either buy the patterns a la carte, so you can buy each one. Notice the prices. These are pretty expensive patterns, especially when you compare them to a sale on McCall's or Butterick patterns or Vogue. So these patterns, they seem to be minimum $12.99. So that's not cheap. So you can do that. And also I want to point out that only some of the patterns are customizable. So not all of the patterns in this library have the feature of you being able to punch in your measurements and it spits out, quote unquote, a, allegedly a custom pattern. So like this one is included and it says customizable. This also says it's included in the subscription. The other thing to know is that not all of the patterns that are in the total library are included in the subscription. So you can buy the patterns on their own or with the subscription. So let's take a look at that. So 
you can use all of the ditto patterns with the subscription, but so I've noticed a lot of those third party patterns like the simplicity ones or like the Madeline ones or some of the ones that aren't specifically ditto, those are not included in the subscription. So if you buy the subscription, which costs $9.99 per month or $99.99 per year, a lot of the patterns you see in that main pattern library are actually not included with the subscription. So you would still have to purchase those in addition to the subscription if you want to get access to those. Uh, the other thing I would like to note, again, is that not all of them are customizable. You also cannot use PDF patterns that you already own. So if you have a lot of PDF patterns that you've already bought, you you like those are not helpful if you get the ditto pattern projector. So that's kind of annoying. What if you actually have one of the patterns? Like say I own, all right, let's go back to the patterns here. Let's just say hypothetically, I already own Simplicity 8168. In order to use it with the pattern projector, like say I have the paper pattern, in order to use it on the projector, I have to pay an additional $16.99. And also notice this one is not customizable and it is not included in the subscription. So if I purchase the subscription, I would still have to buy this pattern separately. I don't know about you, but that really, that really irks me. I find that, I, I think if you, they are selling these subscriptions, in addition to you already paying the $799, you should get access to all of the patterns. I think they should have worked out a deal. You know, I, I'm sure they probably have like licensed the rights or, you know, partnered up or come up with some sort of business deal. But I think if you're paying $799 for this projector in the first place. And then on top of that, you have to get a subscription. I think all of the patterns should come in the subscription. I, I don't like that. I feel like they're not being super, super transparent that not all of these patterns are included in the subscription. I think that seems a little, a little hokey to me. Also notice if you're, we're kind of going down the line, not that many of them are customizable. It's like maybe one out of like, maybe one out of five, one out of 10. Like, look at how, look at, we're going down. Yeah, I would say like one, maybe like one out of seven seems to be customizable, which is one of the big selling points for this product. So if that's something that you really wanted, then your options even still are limited because it seems like only a small fraction of the patterns available for this projector have that customizable feature. And what if you don't even really like those patterns? So I think if you are considering this product, you need you definitely need to look at all of the patterns and see if there's a large number of them you like. If you don't, then it's not even worth getting this because you can't use patterns that are outside of their own ecosystem. So I do think that is something to think about. The other thing I would like to say is that I think if you're paying $799 for this pattern projector, maybe it's just me, but I think that you should get at least a year of the subscription for free. Like that's a lot of money to pay up front. I think you should be able to at least get, maybe, like, they should at least throw in a one-year subscription if you are paying that much money. So I think there's a lot. I think there are some positives to the Ditto Pattern Projector, but I'm also seeing quite a few negatives. And then the negatives are not small negatives. These negatives are potentially deal breakers for customers. Uh, so I want to go get into a little bit more into this whole uh, thing. Uh, another thing I want to point out is if you go to the Joann's website, kind of scroll down a little bit. Let's see, where is it? There was something in there where, oh, let's go to shipping and returns. Okay, so if you get this item, this was one of them. 
if you get this item and you don't open the box so that you don't even open the box at all, there's a $25 restocking fee. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. So I think that's kind of a, I think that's a little bit, also a little like kind of eyebrow raising for me. I'm trying to find it. Okay, yeah, please note all ditto pattern projectors returns of an unopened box require a $25 restocking fee. Also, I want to know what happens if you did open the box? Does that mean you can't return it, period? I just have uh, some questions. Uh, so I think there's a lot of questions I want to ask before I'm purchasing this product. I was actually thinking about it, and I've thought quite a bit. Like, should I get this? It would be a really cool uh, video. I could do a review on it. Uh, but there's a lot where I'm like, I don't know. Um, so the, another thing I would like to point out and I don't, I actually went on their Instagram and their Facebook page to ask these questions, but from what I can tell, so I looked at the app. So here's the thing about this product in order to use it, you actually have to be in the app, the ditto patterns app. So you cannot just sort of like the cricket situation. That's something people don't really like. If you want to be able to use the Ditto Pattern Projector, you cannot use it offline. You can't download the patterns and use it on the projector outside of the app. You have to be using the app. And I also believe that you have to be have an internet connection and or a cell, cell service in order to use it. So the app, I believe it's available for Android too. It is on the Apple Store for iPhone and, uh, iPhone and iPads. Uh, so the, that's another thing to keep in mind is that if you live in an area that doesn't have reliable internet or cell phone service, you literally cannot use this product. So that is something that you should really think about. And also ask yourself, do I really want a product that I have to use with a cloud-based system, which is what this is? So you can't download the patterns like on your computer, you can't download them outside of this app. All of the your pattern library lives within this Ditto Patterns app, and you cannot use it outside of that. So I, I think that's a huge negative to me. And the more I think about it, the more I'm also wondering if you could get in a situation where what happens if down the line this company doesn't exist? So say Ditto Patterns is around for like two or three years, and then, uh, you know, say by 2025, they decide to throw in the towel. What happens if they stop support for the app and then it's no longer available? That would hypothetically mean that you have an $800 product that, that is just a paperweight. So I did ask those questions on their Facebook page and on their Instagram I have not gotten an answer. I don't know if they want to answer that, but I think that's something that's uh, certainly a concern, definitely a concern for me for sure. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, what do you think about that? Do you like the fact that you have to, you cannot use this product independently of their own proprietary app? And that also leads me into the other aspect that, this company really has a lot of control over how you use the product you paid for. If they decide to shut down the app one day, you're SOL. You got nothing. So I think that's pretty, yeah, that's concerning. And that's why I wanted to jump on here and talk about that because from what I can tell, you literally have to be logged into the app in order to use this product, which is one of the major gripes people have about Cricut, is that you have to have an inter internet connection and be logged into the Cricut design space in order to even use the Cricut Maker products or a lot of the other Cricut products. So I wanna, you know, you need to ask yourself, is this something I'm comfortable with? And is this something that, you know, I'm willing, am I willing to eat $800 down the line if Ditto Patterns decides to cease operations, what if they're bought by a larger company and the larger company decides to shut it down? 
We've already seen this with uh, with the NBC Craftsy um, uh, acquisition, and then Craftsy was bought by TN Marketing, and now Craftsy is. Uh, I'll just say say this: Craftsy's definitely gone in a different direction. But I do think that's those are my big hangups right now for why I'm hesitant to purchase the Ditto Pattern Projector. In fact, I didn't even think about those major implications with the internet and with the app until like a couple hours ago. And then I was like, that's kind of a big deal. So that's where I am right now with my thought process. The other thing I have with waiting a while is I think if the product was on went on sale, I would be maybe more likely to be into it. It's also really early to tell. We don't really know how much this will catch on. If this launch ends up being a total flop and nobody buys it and nobody uses it, and they decide to shut down the app down the line, then the few people who actually did purchase the pattern projector, uh, you know, they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be in a pretty tough spot because they paid 800 bucks. And then there's no app. So basically, if if there's no app support for this product, you literally can't use the product. So I did. That's why I wanted to share this with you, because from what I can tell, that's how it is. So I think that's a fairly big concern. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know at this point if I really want to purchase this item. I was actually thinking about it. Eight hundred dollars is a lot of money. And I think if it goes on sale down the line, I might be a little more interested also if it's largely adopted. But I think being an early adopter of this Ditto pattern projector seems kind of risky for most consumers, unless you just want to like throw money at this company and hope for the best. Um, so yeah, so that's what I think at this point. So it is available. At Joann's, it's available at singer.com as well. But yeah, 800 bucks. Uh, what does everybody think about this? Is this something you're considering? The other thing, I think especially more experienced sewists need to consider is you probably already have a large library of your own sewing patterns. So you kind of have to like start from scratch because you can't use any of the patterns you already own with this product. Now, the the appeal for this for me personally is that I do really like the idea of being able to customize the patterns. I am admittedly not great with sewing clothing and I am I have like little to no experience with pattern alterations or pattern adjustments. I have I've mentioned this before. I when I use like a McCall pattern I or a Vogue pattern, I typically don't have to make too many. Like the fit is fairly spot on. But for somebody like me who is not very experienced with pattern adjustments, this could be a very helpful tool for you if you actually like the Ditto patterns that have the customizable option. And because not a lot of people have used this product yet as well, we also don't know how good that feature actually is. Now, if I were to test it out, input my measurements, and it was perfect, I would say that would sway me more into the camp of purchasing the digital pattern projector because that really makes my life a lot easier by not having to do any pattern alterations. But then again, you know, if the fit's not great or if you still have to make pattern adjustments beyond those customizations, then that kind of makes it a moot point for me. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So, you know, a lot to think about. I think there are some, definitely some pros and cons with this product. I am highly concerned though, with the fact that this product is cloud-based, it's completely digital. You need an internet connection and or cell phone service in order to just use the projector as intended. You cannot use any of your own patterns. It's very expensive. And if someday the company doesn't exist, then this product is rendered totally useless. You know, unless some again, some other company comes and decides to make an app that's compatible with this product or takes over running and operating the app 
uh, for ditto patterns. So that's sort of my spiel and my thought process so far. After I've seen a little bit of this ditto pattern projector product, I, I think it looks really cool. I'm not going to lie. I want, I do want it. Like I want to buy one, but at $799 plus tax, I'm like, whoo, it's a lot of money. Plus it, it is risky being one of the first people to buy this product because we don't know how well this is going to go. We don't know if they're going to be adding a lot more patterns to the library, if down the line, maybe they would decide to make it possible to use PDF patterns that you already own. I doubt that they'll do that, but you never know. I don't know. Let me see if they've answered my Instagram. I doubt it because I just asked the question, but I asked them just straight up about whether or not you, you, whether or not you can operate this product without being logged into the app. Uh, so the app, so like it connects to the, um, the projector, the projector has Bluetooth technology. So it's like anything else. Like if you use a Bluetooth speaker, if you use AirPods or something else, it can connect digitally, digitally to your phone or iPad. But again, it makes it kind of cool and innovative and convenient. But on the flip side, if you don't have internet access, you don't have cell service and say something happens to the app or if the app is having issues, then, you know, what do you, what do you do that? That's, that's an honest question. I think that's valid to ask. Um, yeah, you know, so that's where I'm at with this, with this product. Let's, I know, sorry about the audio issues. If you're watching this later, I am going to be trimming. I'm going to be trimming off the beginning so people do not have to suffer through five minutes of, you know, those issues. Also, does everybody like the multi-cam situation? I'm playing around with it. I got a, a stream, I got Stream Deck Mobile so I can do it on my phone. Uh, so what's cool is that I can change. I now have three, not one, not two, but three cameras I can choose from. This is camera one. This is camera two and this is camera three. So you can also see like all of my mess in the background. I'm really trying to upgrade the setup and, you know, go big or go home with Sewing Report Live. Um, I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to very soon start like sewing in real time so we can hang out. I'll sew an entire project and I'll have the thing I'm concerned. The thing I didn't like before, like before I had all of this is that if I was sewing a project, it would be frustrating for viewers because you wouldn't be able to like see up close. But now that I have a multi-camera situation, I can have like this head-on shot. I can have an overhead shot so you can really see uh, what I'm doing. And what I plan to do with camera three is use it as a sewing machine camera so that when I walk over to the sewing machine and start, you know, doing stuff, you'll be able to get a close-up look at exactly what I'm doing so that it's helpful. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And I think I'm going to start that very soon. Um, so let's, uh, let's read some comments and I'm also going to share the, uh, Etsy shop promo code that I am trying to, trying to do just as a thank you to all of the live viewers here. All right. Yes. We had all of these audio issues. Yeah. After in, just so you know, it takes a while for YouTube to like process a live stream and then give me the ability to go in and edit it. But I will be going in and uh, chopping off that first bit because uh, that was obviously painful. I think I figured out what was going on though. Uh, so hopefully that like, hopefully that helps everybody. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I think that seems pretty good. Okay. Let's, okay. Yeah, I'm using OBS and uh, so I'm using three programs right now. I'm using StreamYard, I'm using Stream Deck, and I'm using OBS. So, all right, let's, okay, let's read some of the comments. Okay, so Regina says, you pay them a huge upfront fee for them to keep charging you fees. No, thank you. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's a good way to put it. It's really expensive uh, from the get-go, and then you also have to keep paying them money in order to use the product. Um, another thing I would like to point out 
let me bring this website up, is the price of the patterns, in my opinion, is a little bit, I think the pattern price is too high for these digital patterns. Um, let me bring up right now, if you go to the, like the something, something delightful website, I'm not sure why the McCall's group decided to do that. It's kind of a weird name. But if you notice, if you want to get like a regular uh, standard or digital pattern from McCall, from Butterick or McCall's, it's currently $3.99. And if you want a Vogue pattern, it is $5.99. So if you compare that to the ditto pattern prices that start off at $12.99, plus you have to spend $799 for the projector, you like, that's just a lot of money that might be better spent elsewhere. Not everyone has that kind of money. I think there are certain consumers that this product would be right for. If you sew a lot of clothes, I think this could make sense. Or like someone else is pointing out, maybe if you have a group of people and you could all share it, that also might be, see that might seem like a better value if you use it all the time, if you don't really sew clothing a lot though, I don't see this being very helpful or very, you know, making your life easier. I sew a lot of smaller items. I don't really need a pattern projector, you know, if I'm just tracing out like a small pattern. So I don't really understand. I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm not really, not really sure about that. All right. Debbie, so if you purchase a pattern, can you use them for different people? i.e. can I make a blouse for myself and the same pattern, different sizes for my daughter? What if I gain, lose weight? So I believe, you know, that's a good question. If you have the subscription, I believe most of the, I believe the customizable patterns seem to be mostly included in the subscription. So you, hypothetically, you should be able to keep going back to that pattern over and over again and creating new, um, you know, maybe like, different doing it in different sizes i believe with the ones you purchase a la carte it looks like all of the views do come with that and all of the sizes um i think there's a lot of questions we can pose to the people at ditto so yeah i don't you know i don't know i don't have all the answers but uh yeah so debbie also says hmm, maybe if you have the digital version of the pattern so if you have the digital ver if you already have a digital pattern you cannot use it with the projector. So you have to purchase their patterns. So none of the PDF patterns we currently own can be used with the projector, which is a big negative because a lot of the people that have rigged up their standard projectors to project patterns can use them with PDF patterns they already own. So I know there's a lot of people who do that. I'm not one of them. I don't know if I'm that kind of tech savvy, but there's definitely a lot of information out there if you want to try to project your own patterns and you don't want to buy this. Uh, yes, I agree. All of the patterns should be included in the, in the subscription or at least you earn some credits each month worth a couple patterns each month for the subscription. That's, that's a pretty good idea, actually. All right, Denise says, cool new camera angles. Thank you, Denise. I'm, I'm really trying. I am really trying, guys. A much better audio. Thank you, Adrian. Yes. I think I figured out what was, I think I figured out what was going on. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I, I think I, I think I did. So we'll see. All right, Debbie, again, I know that I will never purchase the projector. All your concerns listed. I would be much more interested in finding out how to adjust digital patterns on a software and project from an Ac Acme projector. That's, that's a good point. All right. We got Denise here. I like the initial concept as it saves resources and seems environmentally friendly, but I don't think I will sew enough clothes to justify $800 plus $99 annually on top of pattern cost. Right? Yeah. All right. And Debbie says, exactly. All right. We got Jamie in the house. If I had $800 to spend on new sewing equipment, I would buy a serger. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could spend. Eight, there's a lot of ways you could spend $800 besides giving your money to, to Ditto and Joann's. All right. Regina says, I wouldn't even recommend this product to a beginner sewer because they might not stick with sewing. That cost could go to a very nice sewing machine instead of a beginner one. Hey, that's, that's a good thought. 
All right, and Jamie says, I'm not a fan of digital print patterns. I'm totally happy to spend two to three dollars on a pattern on sale at Joann's. And that's my thing. Like I, I've gotten so many great paper patterns on sale for two or three dollars. And if you're like, well, Jen, what if you want to do a different size or a different view? Then um, I actually, if I really like a pattern and it's on sale, I'll buy two or three. So in case I want to make a different view of that pattern in the future, a different size, instead of just, instead of going through all of that nonsense, I can just cut out another pattern and the pattern only cost me three bucks. So there's a lot of other ways you can, I feel like you can work smarter, not harder at this and you don't have to spend all that money. That's my, my opinion. All right, Debbie says, if the launch flops hard enough, Ditto will have to listen to Soists and comply with our suggestions, demands, basically jailbreaking the software. Yes, free the Ditto pattern software. Yes, let us use, if you could use your own PDF patterns, I think that would make a lot more sense to buy it. I also think if the product was a lot less expensive, if it, if it was $3.99, I I think I would just buy it now just to see what happens. But again, you still run the risk. You still run the risk with this. If this company decides one day to stop supporting the app, everyone who owns this product now has something that's completely useless and has like literally you can't use it. And that's a, that's a very big con. And that's something that regular sewing projectors, you know, you're not going to have that issue. So if you just get a regular projector, you don't have to worry about the company shutting down one day or ceasing support or the app in general, because you're not, yeah, you're just not going to be able to use it like period. So I think that's a pretty big, big negative there. Okay. Everybody likes the camera angles. Love the multicam. I need to get with that tech for my yoga classes on Zoom. Jamie, it's not that bad. Um, you do, I did get like a, an Elgato Camlink Pro. So it, my husband built my computer and then you can plug in different HDMI cables and then you just get OBS and I got Stream Deck Mobile that you see here. And now I can, I can switch cameras to my heart. I, and I've got this one too. So I'm like small and then, the, and then you can see below me. You can see the overhead shot. So I have a lot of different options here and I'm really excited about what this means for Sewing Report Live. You guys know I like to chat, so I can chat all day. I can chat all day long. All right, yes, Jamie, a stream yard. You do need a subscription for it. I don't know if you need it. If you're just doing Zoom classes, you don't need that. Um, but OBS is a free open source software that a lot of people use. There's also a bunch of tutorials. There's a lot of tutor tutorials on how to use it. All right, we've got Don here. Wow, we have, or it looks like we have, a, we have a gentleman here. My personal interest is in learning to draft my own patterns with Seemly 2D or Valentina, creating a PDF and projecting that. So not being able to do that is a deal breaker. Yeah, and I think for a lot of people, the general consensus, consensus I'm seeing online is uh, hardly anyone I've seen seems super interested in buying this. So I'm kind of wondering what the sales are going to be like for this. And that's another concern I have is that if this product does not sell well, if it is a flop, then the company may not feel motivated to continue to support this Ditto Patterns app. And again, then the people who bought, who actually did buy the product, you know, they, they could have a very, very expensive paperweight at some point in the future if the company decides to do that. All right, Denise says, another pattern saving technique is Swedish tracing, tracing paper, feels like paper fabric and doesn't tear. Denise, years ago, I actually did a video about Swedish trace, tracing paper and I still have a lot of it. So yes, I'm a big fan of Swedish, I cannot talk today, Swedish tracing paper. I think it's a great, great product. And I, you know, I really like it if you just want to like, it kind of make a sort of a muslin without wasting any, fabric. I think that's a good option. All right. Regina says, once you purchase a product, it should be yours to use freely as you choose, especially with your own patterns that you currently have. And from what I can tell, Ditto Patterns is not offering 
this to customers. Uh, so if that's something that's important to you, then this probably is not something for you. All right. And I've got a special surprise for everybody. All right. So as a special thank you to all of the Sewing Report live viewers here today, I have a, an exclusive secret, super secret promo code for you. Now, be, because I don't, again, this is just for you guys. So um, I wanted to give a little promotion in the Sewing Report Etsy shop. This promo code will get you $10 off a $60 or more order. So if you spend $60, you get $10 off, $60 or more. It's promo code live show 3223. It expires at the end of tomorrow. So I'm giving everybody like a day and a half, especially since we're doing this live stream like in the evening. So if you're seeing this on the replay, the coupon code is good all day on March 3rd, 2023. So just, I will be doing this with, I think most live streams. Uh, so I'm gonna have a special promo code that is only for live viewers. So I wanna, I wanna reward you guys. I want to say thank you and offer a special, a special promotion on the Sewing Report Etsy shop just for live stream viewers. So again, promo code live show 3223. And uh, this expires at the end of tomorrow. So you got about a day and a half if you wanna look around the shop. I've got fabric, I've got supplies. I know like two of my most popular items, the Sew Tights Magnets and the clear vinyl that you can use for sewing or embroidery. Those should be in stock uh, uh, by Sunday or Monday. I ordered some more because I know those are very popular. So again, promo code live show 3223. And while you're here, go ahead and like and subscribe to Sewing Report Live. If you haven't hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. And subscribe if you would like to join in on the live fun. I've kind of, I'm trying to figure out like my identity for this channel. So far, I think I put something like I have a lot of sewing machines and I wear sweatpants 99% of the time, which is 100% true. Um, so... Yeah, that's my thoughts on the Ditto Pattern Projector. If anyone else has any other comments, also, if you are watching this later and you've purchased the Ditto Pattern Projector, I would love to get like a review from you down in the comments. So please do that if you're watching this later. If you love it, if you hate it, you own this product. I obviously don't. I wanna know what you think. If anyone has gotten their hands on a Ditto Pattern Projector, you spent the 800 bucks, you took the plunge, I would love to know what you think of it and if you would recommend it to, to other people. All right. Is there anything else going on in the sewing community as well? Let me know. I'd be happy to look at some, some articles, anything like that. We can do, we can do whatever. Like I'm, I am game. This is just a live hangout. I'll stick around for a little bit longer. Let me bring up my screen again. All right. Let's see here. Ah, okay. Again, once again, I would also like to give a shout out to uh, today's live show sponsor, which is the Sewing Report Etsy shop. You can find fabric, you can find supplies, so something for everybody there. So yes, I realize this is my own Etsy shop. Hey, I've got no shame. Got lots of stuff. I got a lot of fabric bundles on sale, including, I still have a lot of that Christmas fabric. So. If you are looking for Christmas 2023, we've got some stuff for you and I'm hoping to get some new items in the shop. Oh, by the way, I'm really liking this Lux Sparkle Vina. If you have an embroidery machine, it works really well. And the other amazing thing about it is that you can iron on it and it doesn't like damage the vinyl at all. So this is actually iron safe, which is kind of crazy. It is machine washable. So that's also kind of insane for a vinyl product. So today's show is sponsored by the Sewing Report Etsy shop. All right, Denise, good question. I don't currently have any interviews planned. I have been kind of keeping some people in mind. I am. I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to start doing these live sewing um, 
hangouts. But if you would like to see some of my old interviews, I, I've tried to create a playlist on this channel so you can see some of the live streams I've done on the main Sewing Report channel. I have a lot of interviews with people from throughout the years that uh, I think are great interviews. Some of them don't have a lot of views, uh, but they deserve more views because they were great conversations. So I would encourage you to check out some of the interviews I've got on the main uh, Sewing Report channel. All right. Well, this has been a fun show, everybody. Yes, after this, I'm going to be going through and taking out the part with the bad audio. So if you are seeing this on the replay, hopefully I've already uh, done that so that you are not suffering through bad audio. And I think I think I figured out I think I figured out what happened. But, you know, hey, you live and learn. All right, Jen, can you demonstrate that vinyl using it on a pro in a project? I don't have a cutter yet. Uh, considering the brother scan and cut maybe in the fall. Debbie, I have a video on the Sewing Report channel. Uh, let me try to find it real quick for you. Hold on a sec. I did it kind of recently. Let's see here. I applicate an apron with the, um, let's see here. I applicate an apron and I used the vinyl and I did a whole demonstration um, so I hope that helps. Let me try to bring that up for you. So it is this video, the sparkly pineapple applique apron embroidery machine tutorial. Um, so I used it and I kind of did a little product demo for it. I don't have a, a video just, just on the vinyl, um, but I, I did incorporate it into this. And I, we, I did go into quite a bit of detail in the video about the product. So if you'd like to see more about it, I would definitely recommend that particular video. But if anyone else has any questions, um, yeah, I'm hanging out. Obviously we had some audio issues earlier. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to figure this out. And like this computer, I couldn't get the speakers to work earlier. So that was fun. It's yeah, it's been kind of a wild ride. I've got a new computer. This is kind of a new computer here. So there's a lot, a lot going on and I'm really excited though. What does everybody think though about, um, me doing longer live streams, but doing like sewing projects in real time. Like, how does everybody feel about that? I'm actually really jazzed about that idea. And I really like the possibility. Hey, everybody, here's camera three. Yeah, you can see like, so I've got my iPad here. I've got like some water over here. I've got a box. You can see like my light stand there. So um, you can definitely get a better feel for like, you know, this isn't like, this isn't like a magazine type space here. So this is real life. And my thought behind the sewing in real time is I think one of the challenges with doing live streams like this where I'm talking about something is that a lot of people miss the notification or they don't like they don't have enough time to get in while it's live. So they're like, oh, I missed it. So I figure if I'm going live for like six hours or something, I feel like that's a pretty good amount of time for people to pop in and pop out. You can have it on in the background if you're doing something else and you just want to have like some ambient ASMR type stuff going on. I'm, I'm probably not going to be talking a ton. Like I'll be explaining things, but there will, pr there will probably be long period, like long periods where I'm not really talking. Like if I'm just doing repetitive, like if I'm at the sewing machine, just let the sewing machine do its thing. Um, so I'm kind of thinking it could be like kind of a new type of, uh, like a new type of format. I've seen some people, I haven't seen that many people do that type of thing. Um, but I really want this to be like a, like just sort of like an, like an all day kind of thing where you can come in and out as you please. You just want to hang out. Plus I've noticed with every live stream I join as a viewer, the chat's where it's at. So I think it would be cool if like, like even me being in the live stream is kind of not even the, but it's more like everybody talking to each other. So this could also be a kind of a, an online community where people can just know, Hey, she goes live on these days. I can come and just chat with people. So if you just like to chat with people, I love chatting with people in, in live chats. So that could be kind of fun too. I just thought it would be like kind of a different sort of vibe, different format. And I think the thing too with talking the whole time is um, I do talk a lot. I'm a chatty person, 
but my voice can very quickly start to get hoarse and then I start to feel run down. But if I don't have the pressure of talking the whole time, like if I'm going live for six hours and I'm kind of talking here and there explaining things, but you know, say I'm like folding fabric and I'm just folding fabric, I don't feel like I always have to be talking all of the time, especially since people can just be like chatting, um, you know, everybody can kind of chat amongst themselves, even if I'm not directly talking. So we would have some, you know, times where I come and read, read the chat, but then other times where, you know, I'm just at the sewing machine and you're just, you know, you, you know, kind of more of like a, almost like a Truman, like a, kind of a Truman show type uh, thing. I think that could be kind of fun. So what does everybody think about that? Is that something you would watch or tune into? Um, you know, I know it's kind of a, kind of different. Um, and it's definitely a little bit risky. This channel isn't even monetized yet. So I'm, I need a thousand subscribers here to get monetized. So if you are watching, I would greatly appreciate a subscribe if you like live shows about sewing. That's what will be here. Okay, let's read some more questions. Okay. All right, Jamie says sewing in real. Okay, so every, people seem, I know it's sort of a crazy idea, but like if if I can do this, um, I think a benefit for me is that there's really no editing for these live streams, so I can do more of it. Another thing I could do is if I'm, say, doing a demonstration of something or some sort of like um, making a project in real time, I can go back. So with this program I have, I can download all the footage later, and then I can cut highlights or like cut out certain parts and post to them on the main Sewing Report channel. So say I show you how to like use a product or do something, I can cut out just that portion and put it on the sewing report at, you know, for people who, because again, as I found out the hard way, a lot of people, especially that subscribe to my main channel, they do not like live streams, which I, you know, I get not everybody, it's not for everybody, but I really like doing live streams. I did not want to stop, uh, but I completely understood that I needed to move that this type of content over to another channel. So I'm growing this channel literally from scratch. It's not yet monetized. If I can even just get this channel monetized, that would be amazing. I don't even like care. Like I know this channel is like no subscribers and my other channel is 100 and 1000 subscribers. I don't even care about that. If I can just get this one monetized and enjoy doing things over here, um, I think it would be really kind of a neat thing to do because one of the biggest issues I have is that my videos take forever to edit. So I, you know, I, you know, and I want to have a pretty big presence here on YouTube, but if I'm spending two weeks editing one video, you know, that's not, you know, I'm not really, I'm not really with you a lot. So I would like to be part, I would like to be on YouTube as much as I can. I think doing live streaming might be the way to go. I know it's I know it's much different than what I've done in the past, but you know, so we'll mix it up. I think sewing in real time and then also doing shows like this where we focus on one particular topic would be cool. I I would like to do some interviews. So here's the tricky thing about interviews that you should know. One, it's kind of hard to line up everyone's schedule, especially since on this channel I'm only going to be doing live content. Some people are not comfortable doing live streams. Also, the scheduling might be a little bit tricky. Like if I do the live show at a certain time, you know, so-and-so might not be available. It's a lot harder than you think to book guests and get everything lined up. Another thing that happens to me quite a bit, and it happens to anybody who books guests, is people are just inherently, a lot of people can be flaky. Not everybody, but a lot of people. So I have booked interviews with people and then they just like, I would contact them the morning of and said, Hey, you know, I'm looking forward to this. Here's some other stuff. And they'd be like, Oh, I totally forgot. I'm not ready for this. Um, so the thing with that is that it eats up a lot of my, it way, unfortunately it wastes a lot of my time when people flake. And if I'm doing it live and I've already advertised a guest for that week, if they flake out on me, that's a really big deal. So that's why I'm I'm definitely open to doing guests if I think it's a good fit and I think the person is pretty good to work with. But I can't waste a ton. I don't have the time to waste for people to constantly need to reschedule or flake out on me or not be ready. 
And I think with doing this live, that's that's a few added pressures that a lot of people just aren't used to. I like doing live stuff, but a lot of people just aren't as comfortable. Like they would prefer things to be pre-taped and have it me edit it. Um, but I'm not going to be putting any more interviews over on the Sewing Report main channel. So if the guest wants to come on, they got to do it live. And they also have to be respectful of my schedule as well. And unfortunately, I have found that there are a lot of people who apparently can't do that. So, all right. So Debbie asked me what's on my Mac stand. This is an Mac stand. I have an iPad here. I don't know if that... So I have an iPad, so I'm sort of monitoring things. Okay. We've got Denise could be like a retreat day or live classroom time. That's what I'm thinking. So we can kind of hang out. You, If you're working on your own project, you can do that. And, you know, I may just make something. Um, I'm also, another thing I am probably going to be doing, I think I might actually start to make and try to sell handmade items in the Etsy shop. Um, and one thing I run into sometimes is that I I like to have like a purpose for things I'm making. And I, ha I end up having a lot of samples I've made that I don't really have a use for. Like, so say I make a drawstring bag or something. Sometimes I don't always have a, like a specific recipient of mind. I'm usually able to find one like and gift, use it as a gift or use it as gift wrapping. Um, but, you know, I kind of thought, what am I going to sew in real time with all this stuff? And I'm going to try to make and sell some handmade items. So, hey, why not get into the online craft fair game? I know it's a little bit late. I've never really sold a lot of stuff I've made, but I thought I would give it a shot and just see what happens. Also, I think it would give me a lot more insight when I'm talking to you about running an Etsy shop, I think I could have a lot more, uh, obviously, firsthand knowledge if I actually am selling what I'm sewing. So for the first time ever, I may, I may try to start doing some handmade items to sell. So, you know, I'll be doing some batch stuff because I have a lot of really pretty fabric that I don't know what to do with. So I thought maybe I would try to, you know... Uh, make some things live on the live stream and then post them in the Etsy shop. I don't know how that would go, but those are just some things I am brainstorming. All right. I also appreciate your industry news stories and behind the scenes info. Live days would be a fun treat every so often. Yeah, I just think it would be fun to hang out. And um, I, I think another thing with the edited videos is that you don't see like everything's so compact, you don't see how you don't see how slow of a sewist I am, or you don't really see a lot of my mistakes or the time that I had to start this over. So I think it could be a lot, maybe a little bit more relatable. If you're seeing me struggle to sew something in real time, be like, all right, well, at least it's not uh, just me. All right. Debbie says she you would love to attend retreats. Yeah, I think that could be kind of kind of fun. So that's sort of what I'm thinking and planning for this Sewing Report live channel. If that sounds like fun to you, you're welcome to come join me anytime. I think I would ideally like to go live, I would say at least twice a week over here. Um, and one of those days would be a live sewing day, um, at least one. The other thing is I could always talk about some of the industry stuff during the sewing, like we can talk about anything. So I could also comment on anything that's going on while I'm doing it. Uh, but I think it would be fun, especially since I now have all these cameras in place. I think I'm much more well equipped to, to do this sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got planned. Anyways, I really appreciate everyone tuning in. And just for one last time, I want to share the promo code for the Sewing Report Etsy shop. All right, let's get this up. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Let me share the Etsy shop. So again, this promo code is only for you live viewers right now. And the deal is that any you get $10 off any $60 or more purchase. So you spend $60, it ends up being 50 bucks. Plus this also covers all of these sale items. So $60 or more, you get a $10 uh, promotion, $10 off promotion. 
with promo code Live Show 3223. It expires at the end of the day on March 3rd, 2023. So again, promo code Live Show 3223. It's just my way of saying thank you and, um, you know, providing some sort of um, extra extra thing, extra goodie for all of you live viewers here, or if you're watching on the replay and it's still pretty soon after. So you've got about a day and a half, guys. But thank you all for watching Sewing Report Live. Again, I really appreciate everything. And like and subscribe to this channel. Again, I'm trying to get monetized. I need a 1,000 subscribers. I'm still a ways to go. I am Jen with Sewing Report Live. You're also welcome to check out the main Sewing Report channel for lots of other videos. This channel will be all live all the time. And one thing I can't guarantee is that I will be wearing sweatpants. So yeah, pretty much all sweatpants all the time. But thanks everyone for watching. I hope you all have a great night. Yes, thank you everyone. Yes, you guys have been with like, all of you watching in the chat now, I know you you all have been with me for quite a long time. So I definitely value that. And I want to say a huge thank you. You have my utmost gratitude. Help me get to a thousand subscribers here. Tell your friends, pass it along in Facebook groups. Tell people I'm there's this crazy Asian lady in Florida who likes to do live streams and wear sweatpants. And I will see everyone again in the next live show. I'm Jen with Sewing Report Live. And remember, whatever you're doing, make it fun.